Next up on WTV, Stuco Bingo Event and Today's Sports. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Tuesday, October 17th, and I'm Lior Aaron with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Shoes seem to be getting all the footwear attention, but socks are getting their turn in the spotlight as the theater department is hosting a fundraiser to help those in need around Frisco. WTV's Lexi Holding has a story. Theater is once again joining the Frisco ISD effort to raise funds and necessities through Socktober, a national organization focused on collecting socks and donating them to those in need. We've been doing it for the past few years, I believe, and again, it just allows us, as since the community has given theater particularly so much with our parades and resources, we would like to also, you know, give back to the community and we'd like to thank them for everything we've done and to just show our gratitude. Students can donate new, unused, crocheted, or hand-knit socks of any size to F107 or the Black Box through the end of October. Every packet of socks equals one volunteer hour or one thespian point. Reporting for WTV, I am Lexi Holding. A classic Stuco event is back. A classic game that has been done a few times on campus in past years is going on tomorrow during advisory. Bingo will be hosted by the student council for everyone to come and play. I chose bingo because, um, like I said, it was really fun. Um, and surprisingly, a lot of people came to that last year, which we weren't expecting. And it, like I said, gets everybody involved. Uh, we had prizes, so we'll have prizes again this year. Um, and it's another fun thing to uh, watch everybody enjoy. This year, there will be prizes for students who win bingo. All students are welcome to come and play tomorrow during advisory in the main gym. Reporting for WTV, I am Joaquin Perez. On today's sports, WTV's Ryan Shapiro brings you a recap and preview on Red Hawk Athletics. After a close 3-2 victory on Friday, volleyball looks to clinch a regular season district title with a win over Independence tonight. With a quick look at the standings, the Red Hawks are currently two games ahead of Lebanon Trail for first place. Tonight's game will start at 6.30 p.m. at Independence. Reporting for WTV, I'm Ryan Shapiro. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's daily announcements. This is Digital Citizenship Week. Today's tip is don't agree to meet an online friend unless you have your parents' permission. Unfortunately, sometimes people pretend to be people they aren't. Remember that not everything you see online is true. Attention AP students. AP exam payment for full year and fall AP courses is now open through November 1st. Payment will be made online through online school feed. Students not enrolled in any AP course but want to take an AP exam must contact campus testing facilitator Leslie Thompson at thompsonle at friscoisd.org. You must register and pay by the November 1st deadline to avoid late fees. It's time to join Battle of the Books. 12 high school teams of 4 to 6, 12 books, one day of trivia battles. Scan the QR code, register your team, or see Ms. Hamilton for more details. That's it for today's daily update. This is Lior Aaron for Wingspan TV.